Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. I realise that I haven't shown everyone the proper reveal of the sofa, which is actually looking amazing, was finished ages ago and I just completely forgot to reveal it. But you've probably all seen it on Caddo at the Chateau because we were sitting here. But um, the best thing is we really need to show you the back because the that's the Frankenstein monster part. Sure. So the full name of this sofa is Marmaduke Frankenstein the Third. <laughs> the third? The what's, why the third? Story. The fabric is from Watts of Westminster and it's called Marmaduke, which is clearly a great name. And we called it Marmaduke the Third because in terms of generations of pieces that we bought from the previous owners, this is probably the most modern, we think it's mid 20th century. We also bought this day bed, which is 19th century. And we bought a chaise longue in mummy's room, which is 18th century. So we thought that the three pieces could be called Marmaduke, the first, second and third. But then this one got called Frankenstein because we had to patch so much on the back. This one was fine. We had one single piece of fabric to do this one. That's looking lovely. This one, had to have two seams, creating a weird pattern that's not actually part of the fabric at all. We created a new pattern <laughs> to put in the middle there. And to be able to get the symmetry with that, we had to seam two pieces together to make the same as this. So it's Marmaduke Frankenstein the third now, but I think it looks great. You that's actually, a cool name. You wouldn't know, it's a cool name <laughs> for a start. For another thing, even if it's in the center of a room, I don't think you'd really notice. You've got to no. really go close it's to see it. It looks no, good. It looks good from here. Yeah, we were expecting it to look a lot worse <laughs> than that. So, yeah. But that's all the fabric we had because I'm being quite strict on finishing the great fabric mountain that we've got. And this was a great way of using this one. Right. And it still looks good. I love this piece of furniture now. And one day I'd like it in the middle of a room. And you can see the back. I really do like the back. Yes. And this cushion, if we go back, whee! Okay, this one uh, was a gift from Andy, uh, who was here with us last month. It's so pretty. Um, she bought it because she said it reminded her of my father's art, and it really reminds mm. me of his art as well. You see the faces in it? It's quite Picasso-esque. And this uh, gift, I'm just wearing mine too today. Is that from Andy as well? Yes, she bought it for me. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It's Dutch. really pretty. Yeah. Delft. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, just, no, it's Delft, yeah, it's Dutch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Did you took a very close up from uh, this beautiful... Yes, because the trim, that's so the true. Trim. I hadn't it, shown the it trim. Finished, it finished beautifully. Yeah. Actually. That's the thing we uh, yeah. hadn't shown. Yeah. We hadn't shown the trim, the trim, which I received as a gift in Caddo at the Chateau. And look how perfect it is. Can I talk about that? Ah, oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, this skirt makes me want to do that everywhere. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm saving the seats. Yeah. If it's a movie theater. Or... This is how <laughs> nope. much seat I did. So a seat for one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but have you told them about the paint we uh, picked up at Brico? No. Oh, I don't know how you feel about this, Natty. Though there's other big news. Natty's moving. And I'm moving my desk. Where are you going? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Really yeah. nice. For, That's a great uh, the idea. High, uh, not the high season, for the low season. No. Mm. Really, really good idea. Yes. You're moving for the winter to the bedroom directly above Nick's old bedroom. So this can become the proper party room. Right. Mm -hmm. And we have bought some purple paint for the walls. Because we were really inspired when we went to see the museum in Chateauroux, the Musée Bertrand. There was a lovely purple room there. 
I don't know how that you feel. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm coming down here again. Then. <laughs> ah, you well, I will need to if next year we have a good season. <laughs> yes, because we'll need yeah. the bedroom. Yeah, we, and we need to. I need to be here, checking everything. Yeah, watching but... everything. <laughs> but in winter, but yeah. you don't need to be here. Purple, you say. Purple. It's kind of oh like the, the color of the cushion, but less wow. red. Yeah, similar yeah. to that. It is going to be quite dark. Hmm. I'm a bit scared, but a bit excited. <laughs> and now I'm just feeling very festive, very happy. I think it's probably the thought of this room being purple one day. Uh, I'm going to cook the Christmas cake. <laughs> yes, what well, kind of cocktails, right? Because it has a lot of alcohol in <laughs> it. Yes, exactly. So I'll be making the food-based cocktail, which is all Armagnac this year. Yeah. Uh, well, a bit of Calvados as well for fun. Right. Um, and then, well, tonight we should probably have cocktails in here. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Okay. Good luck with your room move. Are you going to be my sous chef? Yeah, sure. Okay, what apron do you want? Um, a nice one. I, don't... I want the Christmas one. I like Christmas. I'm taking this one. Okay, I want the Christmas one. Where's my Christmas one? Have you seen it? Anyway. Uh, yeah, I actually mended it the other day. Are you serious? Yeah, it's here. I haven't used it since last year. You mended it with a peacock. Oh my gosh, no, no, that's amazing. I actually mended it with needle and thread, but I thought it could use something. <laughs> <laughs> and I found the peacock that would be Okay, that's safe. even more Christmassy. This is the best Christmas apron in the world. I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but okay. it's covered in trees with huge baubles. And one of the reasons I look forward to Christmas is just for an excuse to wear this. <laughs> the day that I make the Christmas cake is definitely a day that I can wear this, even if we're not in December yet. Oh, by the way, hmm? uh, have you seen the package that arrived? Can you be more specific? The package that arrived today. No, I haven't seen any packages today. Why is... Have you well, not seen happened? the huge box that's well, there? There's always huge boxes in here. No, Which one? This one. <laughs> okay, wait. If you... <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it like that. I'm trying. This is trying to put the apron on. Does that work? Yeah, with one hand. Okay, so it's quite tight. <laughs> that was a private moment behind the scenes. <laughs> okay, okay, is that better? Yeah. Right. right. Okay, Great. what's okay. in the box? Well, what? just pick it up, put it on the table so you can properly see. All right. It's something you've ordered. Oh, so I've ordered it? Yeah. All right. <sighs> I can't believe it. So. I've been really naughty. I ordered these on eBay. A lot of you will know that my mother's favorite set of porcelain crockery in the house. Oh, I love those. They're huge. Um, they're so beautiful. Is the Spode Fleur de Lis in gold which has been discontinued. They don't make it anymore. And she just has the tea and coffee set. And I thought it would be really beautiful to get the dinner service. So I've been looking on eBay, waiting for things to turn up. And I found these suitcases, which I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. The first time I've held one, I just saw them on the eBay. But how gorgeous. On the eBay. You've never seen all that. Sorry? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just saw these on the eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say the yeah, eBay. No, you said, I didn't I, say. I did not say the you eBay. You did. I've got it on camera. <laughs> I did not. Uh, let me just look on the Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I didn't uh, do that. <laughs> I'm a vlogger, I'll have you know. Yeah. On the YouTube. <laughs> Think. Christmas table? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I really like them. Because I haven't planned the final look for this year's Christmas table. I like to change it each year. Mm -hmm. and not necessarily change all of the plates, but use different combinations, right. different things. Wow. Look. Can I just take a closer yes. one? Because... Oh wow. I'm so glad I got these. They're more beautiful than I was expecting. What do you think of them though? I think they're lovely. Yeah. You don't like soup. No, I don't, but you like it. Bear me out. Christmas. Sit down. Yeah. Expecting a huge meal of turkey, but you like something light and exciting to start for an avocado cocktail. 
Right. Yeah. So you're not going to use the soup as the soup. No, God, that's, <laughs> that's how you're going to get through the... It's not... I just see soup as a pointless waste of calories because you can't chew it. It's not really food, it's a drink. Stop saying that. It is it's a drink. not true. It because I'm going to give you a really nice thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that. I like the bowls. I'd like to see soup in the bowls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I would, I would just about accept for Christmas Day a Brussels sprout soup. Get the Brussels sprouts out of the way mm -hmm. with like bits of bacon in. Yeah. Yeah. The sky's gone pink. It's so lovely. I think it's probably when they say golden out. It's not coming across in not camera. as much. It's, not as much. It's, it's so Barbie pink. pink. It's Barbie pink here. Mm. And I think it's because we're about to cook the Christmas cake. Pretty certain that all of La Land is celebrating. Yeah, famously, that is what the weathermen all say. <laughs> Ah, at La Land. Ah, of course. They must be doing <laughs> the Christmas cake. Pink sky at night. Um, weatherman's delight. You know? <laughs> I really love them. They are really beautiful. Look, Mummy, I'm just throwing the packaging away because <laughs> they're not getting wrapped up again. <laughs> I just want to sit and look at them. This feels right. I mean, it's kind of funny as well because these seem to me the perfect blend of English and French. Like... Oh, because of the fleur de lis. Yeah. English porcelain and... French so it seems Japanese very um, fitting for you and your mother and father because your father was the one who gave your mother the tea yeah. and coffee set, right? Yes, yeah. She's going to be happy, I hope. Either that or I'm going to get super told off for being extravagant. <laughs> <laughs> Could go either way. Oh, uh, well, we'll see. Okay, Christmas cake. Yeah, let's go. Like a little tree. Yeah, yeah, so earlier today, she dragged through the forest. I saw Maddie and Kat coming back from a walk, and mm. Maddie was carrying a tree, <laughs> just as you do. With lots of moss on it. Yeah. And we can yeah. hang candles <gasps> down on it. I picked yeah. up so many pretty, pretty leaves. You picked up pretty leaves? Yeah, I did pick up you pretty leaves. leaves. No, that's not true. I picked up the whole thing. Can we use those in the decorating as well? Because I'm supposed to be making the Christmas cake. That, that's why I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> but we've got distracted from deciding on the Thanksgiving decorations. Mm -hmm. And we can pick moss from their forest. It's so cool, the moss at the moment. Yeah. It's like yeah. little stars. Very pretty. It's really pretty. So we're planning a table. Maddie and I have been talking about Mm, how it should look. We're going be. quite rustic, yeah, quite mammy style, but then with quite a lot of my porcelain. Yeah, so rustic. Rustic means bling. Yeah, more is more. <laughs> <laughs> In look at Kat's face. <laughs> it doesn't sound oh, yeah. It's going to be great, oh, and no. it's going to be in the forestry studio. But you will be so cold. No, we'll put every no, heater. Yeah. Every heater We're going to blow every single fuse yeah. trying to heat yeah. them up yeah. as much <laughs> as we can. Have, yeah. have you talked, Marie, about the pumpkin soup bowl idea? So we were thinking, um, for the starter, we could get little individual pumpkins mm. and make them into a sort of pumpkin goat's cheese soup with a loaf of goat's cheese. You don't and like soup. Them. We just had a really long I do think, I I do don't think like other soup. people like you soup. You don't like soup. I love soup. She you don't soup. like soup. I don't like soup. No. Well, I just find it a bit dull, but yeah. I don't just, I'll eat it. Uh, yep. And there'll be loads of cheese in it and I'll be bright inside. I'm very good pumpkin soup. I'm happy to do pumpkin soup. So we're thinking individually served like, in the pumpkin. Oh wow! Yeah, for the, for the first floor. Well, oh, the tree can just be the main attraction, and we'll just have a soup in a normal soup bowl. Good God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm getting really excited about the soup bowl. I don't think you see the tree properly. No, the tree is going to be amazing. Yes, I'm not doubting the tree. It's going to be so nice, and we can have candles hanging down. I'm big into the candles yeah. hanging down thing. Mm. Me too. I think I'm about Very to put it And pumpkins have been hanging down. You could have done as well. It's not that solid. Ah, okay. I thought we were going to say it's not that solid. That was why. Ah, right. <laughs> this is Daddy's cake tin. I use this for the Christmas cake every year. Mm -hmm. And I have made the baking paper. I folded it so there's three layers. Right. So I get three circles when I cut this. And I'm going to try and cut just inside so that we don't get a pen in the cake. There we go. So I have three circles. Okay. To the top. Now I'm going to make a lining to the sides. Mm -hmm. Because the cake has to cook for a really long time. 
four okay. hours. Oh. Yeah, and so you don't want it to burn. Um, Why? It's really important to protect it as much as possible and to make sure it doesn't stick to the cake tin. First, I'm just going to do these little bits so that I can so it's... fold it down. And I'm going to butter the pan so that it sticks nicely to it. Okay. Oh no, hang on. Emergency! I'm on Mammy's side of the table. Look, oh, I'm moving, Mammy, I'm moving. Uh -huh. I can't even tell Mammy that it's worth it for the kids because you don't like raisins. No. Whee! We're done. Oh, well over. Okay. No, 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 no. Voila. What? That's the halfway mark. I think this is a <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a beetroot and chickpea salad. You're not. Yes. You're not ingratiating yourself with me right now. <laughs> like beetroot well, or chickpeas. Suck at you. <laughs> <laughs> what else is for dinner, Maggie? You angel, you yeah. tried to tease me with the beetroot <laughs> and chickpea. Yeah. You now you're making one of my favourite things. I know, Thanks. but you know. Okay, there we go. And Great. one of these on the base. Mm -hmm. So I've made a little parcel. All right. And then we keep these two to put on top of the cake. Okay. Afterwards. And now we can get on with making the cake, finally. Great. And it's Delia Smith's classic Christmas cake recipe. Last night, actually, <laughs> a lot more than last night. <laughs> I meant to do this last week. Yeah. So, in fact, the fruit, the dried fruit, have been soaking in Armagnac. No, Calvados, sorry. The cake will actually be fed with Armagnac, but I finished off a bottle of Calvados in this. And they've been soaking in the Calvados. Just check that. Quality control. Mm. That works very nicely. Yeah. <laughs> so that's already been done. Mm -hmm. um, Delia's recipe is online, so you can find it, and it's the one I use every year. Sift the flour, salt, and spices into a very large roomy mixing bowl. Our weighing scale is broken, so we're having to use the Thermomix as the world's most expensive weighing scale <laughs> in this kitchen. You know the one, the sift that goes like this? Yes. Do you know where it is? Have you seen it in the cupboard? Have I seen I'm looking at the cupboard. Looking more. Can you give me an idea of where to look more in the cupboard? Oh, look down. Can we do hot and cold? Hot and cold. Okay, okay. Yeah, warm up. Warm. Warm. Am I getting warmer? <laughs> it's, just, it's actually quite tricky because I have no idea. <laughs> 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 Burning. <laughs> put that there. Mm -hmm. And then put it to zero. Mm -hmm. And I can put it straight into the sieve. 225 grams. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Mm. This is the fun bit now. Mm. Great. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter of a level teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. I'm just going to guess quarter of a teaspoon. <laughs> but it smells really good. Do you need not make for anything over there? Mm, do you think it'll go well with the beetroot? No idea. I don't plan to touch it, so it's entirely <laughs> up to you. Right, and next, half a level teaspoon of ground mixed spice. It's probably a bit more. 225 grams of dark brown soft sugar. Can't get that in France. It'll have to be bog standard sugar, I'm afraid. I think we also bought um the slightly golden sugar. Yeah. Okay, well we can use this, that's great. I didn't know you bought this. Yeah. Thanks. Four large eggs. One dessert spoon of black treacle. We should get this. Should it's I? really cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Would you like me to get you something? <laughs> no? no. <laughs> That's how Maddie and I get things out of that cupboard. Mm. Pop the seeds. Of course. Mm. 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 It does actually 
actually look beautiful. Yes, you should have some. <laughs> I'll try some. Yay! There will be cheese in it. Oh! <laughs> Near the way to my heart. <laughs> okay, I think I've got all the treacle. Great. Nice. Okay, we are going to transfer it into here. I should have just made it There's in here. Oh, in there, the yeah, right. Place, because I've decided to mix it in the Kenwood Major, because that's going to be a lot easier. Okay. So, in it goes. And after you stopped filming, I had a bit of an incident with the butter. What happened? I was trying to gently soften it in the microwave. And what? I forgot that I'd done the microwave <laughs> Right, that's yeah. Soft anyway, that's yeah, soft. Absolutely. Great. Couldn't be softer. <coughs> Very soft, this butter. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. It, it, in French, it's called uh, beurre doux. So, beurre doux. <laughs> right, soft butter, I mean. Such hard work. Enslaving all day in the kitchen. Uh, so far, there has been no, no reason whatsoever for me to put on an apron. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you're standing there in an apron, right? Why? You said, which apron do you want? Like, I know, well, I know. that one. I need a sous chef, and it's not that I really, I really didn't need a sous chef. Definitely getting plucky. Is that? Yeah. See how it's getting paler. Oh, yeah. I'm folding in all of the fruits. Oh, look, you see? It's still like that amazing Calvados going in. That Calvados was amazing, by the way. Yeah, I know. And the Armagnac will be too. Good. My aunt's making hers with rum this year, so I might try that next year. Oh. That sounds good. I've got very bad experiences with rum. Have you now? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell us more about your bad experiences no, with rum? No, no. And now I'm going to put the zest of one lemon and one orange in. I love this grater. Mm. Looks good, doesn't it? It smells really good as well. Like, I actually only smell the lemon now. I left the nuts out, they're supposed to have almonds, but Nick will be here, lockdown allowing. Not for Christmas, but just afterwards, there's probably going to be some cake left then. And that way you can have some too. All right. There's no nuts at all. I've folded everything in. Mm -hmm. It's going into the tin. It smells so good. And the awful thing is with any other cake, you think, okay, it'll take an hour to cook and I'm going to cool for another hour. Mm -hmm. This one, we can't have for six weeks. <laughs> and by the time we do have it, an entire bottle of Armagnac will have been <laughs> Though Selma has also promised on Christmas Day he'll make his amazing apple cake. Oh! What, 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 what? You promised to make your yeah. amazing apple cake Christmas <laughs> Day, yeah. Love it so much. That's a real celebration in this house when he does that. I think Diesel smells food. Yeah. Diesel's really perked up. <laughs> Hello. Mm. <laughs> just going around, sorry. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> mm, yeah. I'm just cleaning. Right. <laughs> I hope that's not how you do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I've made the top circles mm -hmm. into little quarter circle and I'm cutting a hole out right why is that so that it can breathe, breathe. have you seen the cake the cake is good look at that Ooh. I'm pretty excited about that that's gonna go in mm -hmm. right so I've eaten almost as much as I've actually put in <laughs> the tin and then I'm going to put this in the oven 140 degrees mm -hmm. for about four hours mm. Oh. Et voila! And now I'm thinking, we have these spare. Mm -hmm. Can we use these in cocktails? Marie? Yeah, Marie. What? You're the expert in cocktails. Do you tell. Anything that needs orange lemon without the zest on it? Well, we could do old fashioned and sidecar. Just doing old fashions and sidecar. What's sidecar? I don't know. Sidecar. So, cognac and contra. So, like a citrus liqueur, and then you have lemon and you shake it. It's like um, it's very. Sounds good. I have. I've never tried it's it. Very smooth. We'll have that tonight. 
How are you enjoying your dinner, Stephanie? Uh, genuinely amazing, but I, I promised I'd try the salad. <laughs> And I am, but there's a lot of chickpeas there. What? A lot, lot of chickpeas going on. Surely the blue cheese and the salad is making up for it. No? You like it. <laughs> you like it. I'm so no. conflicted. I want to see you with the filming and then with a whole plate of blue. Mm. <laughs> and then... The blue cheese is so delicious. Mm. Just think and about... The chickpeas are so... Present. Oh. <laughs> well, there's there. there's plenty more if you want some more. Oh, I'm good, thank you very much. Mind you, can I just say that you made the best cauliflower cheese? Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's been four hours. It's quite late. I feel much in need of a cocktail. So does Marie. So I reckon our luck's in. Here's the cake done. It needs to be springy. Let's try. The right color, yeah. Oh, that's the right color. Good, yeah. It's a really dark cake, right? It's cooked, lovely. It's done. Can I turn the oven off, then we need to leave it to cool. Okay, I'll put it on a wire rack tomorrow. We can start feeding this baby. I love living in this house, I love living here too. Who else walks into the kitchen and sees this? Oh, cat, <laughs> look what's happening here. <laughs> I've ruined the illusion completely. No. This looks so glamorous. <laughs> a nighty, a cocktail, <laughs> candlelight, me what storming and grumbling with my laundry. It's the same vibe. It is. It's what all. makes it La Land, cat. <laughs> I'm drinking a sidecar ish. <laughs> um, so we're going to have a lovely cocktail, which I Ooh. love. It's a classic. It usually consists of cognac and a citrus liqueur and lemon, which you have spare from your baking, um, and some sugar. So, uh, since we don't have any cognac, I'm going to use the armagnac. Oops, slightly similar. Hard times at La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing the Grand Manier. And I've got a mix of fresh pressed lemon, orange, and lime juice. <laughs> yeah, come on, Kat. You've got to admit this is good, right? This is good. Hang on, Kat. This is good. Didn't you get the robe memo? Clearly not. <laughs> Maggie told us it's robe night. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. But the PJs not count. <laughs> I, I think, PJs. honestly, that kitten would count anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a special cocktail for Philip since he doesn't uh, eat uh, oranges or any citrus fruit. So I'm making the same <laughs> with uh, out the liqueur, orange liqueur, but with Lilith and some apple puree. Sounds good. <laughs> apple, hang on, wait, no, wait. Oh, I feel like we glossed over apple, that. Apple wait. sauce, or like actual apples. Yeah, your apple sauce. I'm gonna pinch it. <laughs> You're having an apple sauce cocktail. <laughs> I'm, I'm very you can still interested. Everything else. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the only thing I could think of that would be similar okay. to citrus. So, do you have it in the fridge? I yeah. think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Should we do fillers first? Oh yes. Let's watch this. Let's see the. Can we can we see the apple sauce, please? <laughs> this is my favourite thing on the, in this We've got two more in the pantry. Yeah, I know. Really no, no. Yeah. I've seen them. Here you go. Okay, thank you. Right, we, we first start with the almanac. So hang on, you, Philip, is that your favourite thing, what, in this house or on to the eat. planet to eat? Yeah. And you love it to drink. To drink? Yes. Oh, I, I will love it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I've never drank it before, but... <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it up. So, one of those. And we'll have one so, half what is of that? those. Lilith. It's like, you like this quite a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a type of vermouth. You'll like it because oh, you love yeah. martini. I think we'll better have two teaspoons of this yumminess. <laughs> I'm so curious. <laughs> then we have the ice. Uh -huh. And it's important to fill the shaker quite a lot with ice. May I suggest you pour the ice then because you'll be there all night if you try and use the sockets. <laughs> 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 I know those tiny tongs. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put the ice in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
Remember the first week uh, when I was here with Cocktail Corner? Uh, the Cocktail Corner? Yeah. Oh yeah, you uh, just arrived when we made Cocktail Corner. And uh, I always thought that uh, tongs and thongs were the same thing. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I knew they were two different words, but they were pronounced the same. Uh, so I asked you for a pair of thongs, remember? <laughs> oh, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so terrified, mortified, sorry. No, that's all yeah. Penguin is brilliant. It's our favorite penguin in this house. Moment of truth. Okay. The um, apple sidecar. Uh, apple sidecar. Oh, look at that. And I've even done you a few fancy <gasps> garnishes. Oh, wow. Thank you. You're amazing. Wow. Well, it looks really nice. <laughs> it does actually look really, really good. So, well, if it's nice, that will be a very good drink for Thanksgiving with the apples. It feels really harvest festival. Maybe a bit, bit of um, cinnamon in it. Maybe. Mm, yeah. Should why not? You ask now. Okay. Yes, please. We can do the adults' drinks now. <laughs> it's really nice. Really? <laughs> Hang on. Am I allowed to try as well? Yeah. I would like to try too. Thanks. It tastes like something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Could it be applesauce? No. It's really good. Mm. Right. Marie, that's delicious. Thank you. Now that with roast pork and crackling. Mm. Oh, maybe as a Christmas cocktail. Oh, with a bit of added cinnamon, as you said. I would just like to say that this is a celebration. What? Is it? Yes. This is actually a really big celebration <laughs> because Ian's work with the internet worked and today for the first time I managed to upload a vlog from my bedroom in no. two hours. Oh my god. Didn't have to go out. That's never happened. No. Before. I can't believe it. Wow. So this is a celebration. Well, we must celebrate the contest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the penguin is so happy about yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, hello. Yeah, look at this. I feel slightly dressed. Suitably dressed now. You have a necklace as well. No, I like what you did. No, no, no. I also put another friend in pajamas. That's excellent. Cheers. Cheers all to the Pajama Club of La Lande. Cheers. Such a simple a huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible. Especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande, Yadel and Ether, Alice Allen, Brandon and John Michael, Dan Bander, Lauren Barnes, Vince Barrow and Denise Behrens, Linda C. Bradley, Candice and Ed Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, L. Fine, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Abigail Grant, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer Lalande, Victoria Lapine, Janet Tuff Lombard, Frank Martin, Kim Matlock, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, J.C. Award, MP, Maureen Palmer, Tamara Price, Amin Rahman, Tonya Renee, Yvonne and Peter Richards, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Elizabeth Scanlan, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, James Whalen, Greg Wood, David Young and Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.